Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we are going to finish this journal today. This is the W journal that we started a little while ago. I don't remember exactly when, but this is just one of them. I had, I think, four that I had to make, and I need to finish this one off today. I may not finish it on the video, but a lot of you say that you like to watch me put items in the journals and items that I have made on videos, so that's what we're going to do today. And then I, tomorrow I need to put another journal together because I have another order for a different one and I need to put that one together tomorrow. So I may start choosing some pages tomorrow to go in that journal. Um, I think we've got this first section done, I believe. I do need to make a big something and put in there. Let's see, I think I've got some invoices that I can fold and put in there. That would probably work. Let's do that. I like to put these in the big pockets and then they can, the person that purchases it can take them out and do whatever they want with them. So that's there. Good there. So how was everybody's weekend? I haven't done anything there, but I'm going to leave that where they can fold it out and write on it if they want to. I had a very lazy weekend. I just kind of laid around and, well, I didn't lay around. I sat around and just, I didn't do a lot of anything. I didn't feel bad, really. I just, I think I was just tired. And so I kind of laid around and done nothing much. I'm going to go ahead while I've got you on video and I'm going to put some charms on the end of these, I think. Now, I don't necessarily choose my charms. The charms choose me. So, I kind of look and the first one that spots my eye, that's what I put on. So, the first one that spotted my, or that my eye spotted, not spotted my eye is this butterfly and you know I always like to put a butterfly on my journals now this is wax thread sorry I've got a really dry space right there and I meant to put some lotion on it before I started the video and I didn't I like to put my butter butterfly on and I put a number eight usually if I have one and I just happen to have one on this one I won't put them all on during the video because you guys, you guys know how to put charms on. I just tie them on there like that. Some some of them hang out of the there and some of them don't. But let's, let me set this aside. And then I've got an invoice in there. I've got this little tag in there, or journal card. And then I need to put a little something right here. And I'm not going to put anything really big. I'm just going to grab a few little things and tuck in there. These are from the some things from the Tim Holtz Curator Collection, I think. And I'm just going to tuck that in like that. And then they can journal on there. Let's put a little piece of something right there. This is kind of the way that I do things. I know everybody does everything a little bit different. This is just my my way of going about it. I think I'm going to put that right there. And I just like to, I've, I've told you guys before, I like to be on camera when I'm doing this kind of thing because if I'm not, I will procrastinate. Yes, I do procrastinate just like everybody else does. If I'm not on camera, I'll procrastinate and I'll be like, oh, I don't want to do that right now. Oh, I don't want to do that right now. And then I don't get it done. So being on camera kind of holds me to it. I need to get it done. And I like to talk to you guys too. Oh, my, my, I don't know why I'm trying to call my ink my glue. My ink just got hung up. I think it just helps me when I'm 
talking to you, even though I know you're not here with me, but sometimes I feel like you are. Especially when I read your comments and you say, oh, it was just like you was right there in my room with me. That's how I feel about you guys, too. Whoops. There weren't my scraps. Let's see. I'll turn that over. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I like that. And like I said, I'm gonna leave this for writing space. Not I don't think I'm gonna put anything on there. If you hear something clicking every now and then, I've got a printer over there that's acting silly. It'll not print one time and then I go on and think I'm not gonna do the printing and then all of a sudden it'll start printing. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to check it. This <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave this for the person who purchased it. If they want to cover this, they can. And if not, they can just write on it like it is. So I'm going to leave that. And then I've got another pocket up here, I do believe. Somewhere. Don't I have a pocket here? Yes, I do. Oops. See, I need to put a piece of washi there now. Leave it to me. Well, she's good for though, isn't it? If you've got a little spot that's weak, just put a little washi across it. See? Nobody ever knows the difference. And now I think I'm going to grab another invoice of some type. Okay, what? Well, let's do this ledger paper in this one. And I'm just going to tear this off. Yeah, I told Brandon earlier today, I said, I think I've got a ghost. <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> he knows I don't believe in ghosts. But anyway, I said, yeah, my, um, the robot that cleans the pool, well, it kind of cleans it. It doesn't really do that good of a job, but we call him Romeo. That's what Aaron calls him. I turned him off the other night. When I went out at like 11 o'clock at night, I turned him off and made sure he was off, made sure the light was off the whole nine yards. So the next morning I got up and I went out to check the pool and see if it needed any chlorine or anything in it. And when I went out there, he was just going to town. He was just going, going, going. And I thought, I thought, okay, I, I thought I turned him off and I didn't. So... I need to make sure next time that I turn him off. So then it was a couple of days later. It was had been storming a little bit. And I thought, well, I'll go out there and turn Romeo off because I don't want him to be on during the storm in case the lightning runs in or whatever. So I go out there about hmm, 7, 7.30, turn him off in the rain and come back in and sit down and watch my TV and Done, my, done a few things and I got up a, a, about 10.30 to go to bed and I where I sit in the living room there's a window over that faces the pool so I looked out that window and the blue light was going and the blue light doesn't go when Romeo's off so I thought now wait a minute I know I turned him off so why is he back on so I went out there and looked sure enough he was just going to town through the pool the little light blinking on him. I thought, okay, I'm going crazy. So I did it the third time, and he come back on. I said, okay, this is not me this time. Something's going on. So <laughs> I turned him off again and kept watch, kind of watched over it. And sure enough, he come back on by himself. So... <laughs> That's why I told Brandon I think I got ghost. So I um, now instead of turning him off, I unplug him. I'm like, okay, if you're gonna be stubborn, I'll just unplug you. If you can't get any electricity to you, then maybe you'll stay off. Well, today my printer, my big printer, I would put something on to print and it wouldn't print. And then about an hour later, it would cut on and start printing. <laughs> 
So I was like, okay, I got ghost. And Brandon's like, I didn't know you believed in ghost. I said, I don't. I said, I'm just cutting up, but I do think I've got something going on in my power situation here. <laughs> he just laughed at me. But it was kind of funny. This is some that I printed on the wrong paper, as you can see. So I'm using those to make tags and things with because I'm not going to throw them away. I'm not going to waste that ink. So anyways, that's my scoop, my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, we named the, uh, we named the pool boy Romeo, and uh, it was so funny the, when, we, when I first got him, or when Whit bought him, he bought him a few years ago because he just couldn't get out there and clean the pool anymore like you have to do, and I was so busy that I couldn't really do it, and my back wouldn't let me do it a lot, so he bought this thing that, it's a Polaris, and you know they're outrageously expensive so we saved up for it and bought it and I mean I guess that's been six or seven years ago it's about wore out now but anyway when we first got it I told Presley came over and I said oh Presley you've got to go out and see our pool boy and she was like what I said we've got a pool boy and at that time he had green he was green and white so I said, yeah, he's wearing green shorts and a white shirt. And I mean, I was just going on and on about this pool boy. And she was believing every bit of it. And I said, he's very good looking. He's, he's very handsome. I said, you're going to have to go out there and check him out. So she goes out to check the pool boy out. And she comes back in. And she said, Nana, I can't believe you just did what you did. And I said, what? She said, you lied to me. I said, no, I didn't. I did not lie. I said, we got a poo boy, and we do. And he does have on green and white. And he's very cute. <laughs> she said, nah, it's a machine. <laughs> she was expecting to go out there and find a cute poo boy. I said, well, that's the only kind of poo boy Nana can get. She said, well, I thought it was a real person. I said, I know, I saw your eyes light up when I said we have a pool boy now. Lordy, lordy, kids. Presley is very gullible. She believes just about anything that anybody tells her. <laughs> I said, don't believe everything that you hear. So, I don't know what else to talk to about with you guys. Other than I think I got a ghost. Not really. It is kind of funny, though, that things like that happen. It makes you scratch your head, doesn't it? You're like, what? Am I losing my mind, or did I really... Turn that off, or what's going on? I don't know. I want something on there, but I don't know what, so I may just leave that one for a little while and I'll come back to it. It's kind of sticky, so I'm going to take it out of this. I don't want it to stick to my pocket or my page there, so I'm going to take it out for a minute. And then I want to put some labels or something on that too, but I'm, I'm probably going to wait on that as well. I put this little guy on there. I just made a little, had a little piece of fabric and I just sprayed it and made a little ruffle and then put a bird on there. Just something to use up the fabric. This little piece had a uptuck pocket, so I put that there. And I don't think I'm going to cover up the birds, even though this one... It's flying upside down, and I think that one is too, but I'm going to leave them. And then it's got a regular pocket here, and then a bird that's flying upside down. This one I may cover right there. Let me get my weight here. Book weight. 
I may cover this one up and I might just use another bird to go over that. What do you think? No, it's going to show through. We can use this, but we need to put something else down first. Let's just tear us a little piece of this. It's like the other day I told, I was telling Alicia that because of all the things that need to be done around here. And I told Alicia, I said, I think I'm going to rent a husband. And she was like, what? I said, I'm going to do a rent a husband. And Brooklyn came in about the time I said husband. And oh my goodness. She went a little bit crazy on me. She said, Nana, you're not getting me another papa. I said, what? She said, you're not getting me another papa. I had a papa and you're not going to get me another one. So you're not getting married again. I said, nobody said anything about getting married again. I said, no. I said, I said I wanted to get a rent a husband. And she said, well, what is that? And I, I was kidding her. I said, baby, it's nothing. I was just kidding your mom because I had so much that needed to be done and I needed a husband to do it. And uh, I said, I was just cutting up with your mother. It's not real. I'm not going to get another husband and I'm not going to replace your papa. I said, don't worry about it. She was like, Nana, you scared me because I thought you was thinking about getting married again and trying to replace my papa. And I said, no, no nobody could ever replace your papa. That girl thought the sun rose and set in her papa. And still does. She, she still cries over him every time anybody's talking about him. She'll start crying. So we have to kind of watch when she's around if we talk about him too much because it upsets her and I can understand because it upsets me too but it does get a little easier for all of you who have just lost your husbands I really feel for you and I'm very very sorry it does get a little easier you still have bad moments you still have bad days that you just think you, you can't put one foot in front of the other one and go on but I just kind of forced myself to do it. I put this here because I had this belly band on here and I wanted to put something in it. So this is one of those little scrap books that we made not too long ago. It's just got a bunch of scrap pieces in it and book pages and things like that. And then I put these little buttons that had been given to me by a friend. When I tied it together, I put these little buttons on there. And I just stuck this under there and I'm leaving the little buttons hanging out so that's gonna go there I'm not gonna do anything here they can write there if they want Let's stick that out a little bit more there we go and then let's see we're back to the middle again and this I was just waiting for it to dry to put it in here but I think I want to put something else on there too and yes I'm hung up on these I love them, but I think we'll put something else on this one. So anyway, if you hear me say rent a husband, I'm not getting another husband. Nope, nope, nope. I had one of the best, and I there's no way I could ever have another one that could be as good to me as he was. I don't even want another one. I just want somebody to work around here. <laughs> I just want somebody to come over long enough to do some work and then they can leave. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them for a long period of time. Just do some work and I'll see you later. <laughs> so funny. Alicia said, good luck in finding somebody to do that. I said, yeah, I know. I said, I don't think I'm going to have any luck finding anybody to do that. Okay, I'm just going to stick this little birdie right down here at the bottom. And then they can still journal here and journal on the back and then we'll stick this in here there we go and then this will have 
charms on it too but I'm not going to put them on there right now because you guys have already seen me tie some charms on and I always include a goodie bag with all of these that has some goodies in it so the person that gets it can use those items to uh, decorate other ways if they want I tend to over decorate because I get started and I just keep putting on and putting on and making and making and making and uh, I'm trying to back off a little bit and not do quite so much but it's hard for me I'm gonna leave that they can do what they want with those and any of this that the person doesn't want all they have to do is tear it out just pull on it and it'll tear out if they don't want something so that I like okay that's good that's good that's good and then this has got one of our little um, belly bands with the envelope attached to it and then we could slide something else under here if we want let's see we might put a few pages from this little book under there Just a little book that someone sent me. I'm sure it's from like Timu or something like that. And I usually put a few of these in the little goodie bag anyway, but we'll slide a few under there. And then there's that one. This one's got some little pieces in it. I need something to slide up under there, just a little piece. I've got the ephemera that we've been making the last few days. I've got a good stack of that. So let's see if we have any little short tags that we might slide up under there that would work. You know what? We could just slide one of these under there. I have to fold it, but that's okay. This is some of my railroad receipts from like 18. Let's see what year is this one in. Uh, 1879 and there they are these are copies of course but they were original railroad receipts that I purchased off Etsy and then Alicia just made she scanned them and then we just made copies all right that to me is a little bit small for that so I'm gonna make a larger tag for this or maybe I've already got one made what do you think already uh, <laughs> Benji was laughing at me for saying already instead of already I said that's just the southern way to make make the word come out quick and he was like yeah I know <laughs> he's laughing at me I said don't make fun of me he said I'm not making fun of you no so funny he, he makes fun of me some of the things that I say sometimes I said that's just the southern way of saying already. You just say it real quick. Already, already. Let's see. What do I want to put under there? I kind of like her there. I think I might just leave her there. I don't mind the colors together. I mean, even though it's a little bit different blue, there's some of that teal blue in here too. So I think I'll leave her there. And this is one of those that we made on video and it's just where you open that back up and you've got extra writing room we'll put her there and then i've got a vintage receipt in there and then this folds down and i put some paper there we could put a little tiny label right there i'll tell you these little book weights I know I probably tell you this all the time, but they're worth their weight in gold when it comes to doing journals. Because I, I cannot stand for my journal to flop closed when I'm trying to work on it. And they're just about the right weight to hold things down. Let's see. Alright, let's do this little. It's from Tim Holtz and it just says, Be Amazed. There we go. Put that there. That, that one I'm going to leave for journaling. And then this, I think I put that there to go in that back pocket. So let's go ahead and find something to make, to cover that, cover the tag. Let's do this. I don't think we've used this in here any. 
and I'm going to use, this is very thick, so I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Keeps clouding up and then um, clearing up here. Uh, I had been talking to Brandon and Melina and Leisha about something, and you guys let me know in the comments what you think about it. What do you think about a meet and greet and some little giveaways that we'll be doing, some goodie bags, uh, maybe even a pre-purchase kit, and then can show you how to put that together at the little retreat. It'd be kind of like a mini retreat, but just one, just two days. It wouldn't be like a long, you know, weekend or anything like that. And then do some um, Q and A, some questions, and all of that. What do y'all think about that? It would not be here in Alabama, and I'll tell you why. We have we're going to be in Branson. Is it Branson or Bristol? We're going to be in Bristol, um, Tennessee. The last, no, the first week in October. And we have just been tossing around the idea of having it while we're up there because they have the facilities, plus it's kind of centrally located for all the states that, you know, that watch us. So it would be me and Melina, and we would be bring some of our business tools. I mean, we would bring, um, you know, product from the store and things like that. And we would have some little make and takes and just, just fun. Just question and answer time and just whatever anybody wants to do, basically. And we're thinking about doing that but you guys let me know what you think i mean is it a time that you could get away the reason that we're thinking about that like it would be the let me think what week what would that be let me look hold on it would be october it would be the 10th and the 11th of october but the reason i'm saying there is because the kids will be singing the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th up there. And then they've got the 10th and 11th and 12th kind of free. And then the 13th, they sing up there again. So instead of turning around trying to come home, we was going to stay there. But we wanted to find something to do. And I thought, well, a lot of people have been asking about doing meet and greets. So that might be a good time. And if we could find a good facility, we could do it there. So we thought, no, I'm sorry. We thought about the 11th and 12th, Friday and Saturday, Friday and Saturday. So that would give them Thursday to kind of rest up. And then Friday and Saturday, we could do a meet and greet, Q and A, uh, make and takes, give out some little goodie bags and do some different things. What do y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments below. I want to know what you think about it. If it would be something that you I mean, it's not going to cost you anything to come. Not going to charge you a dime. Uh, if you want, you know, we're going to sell some kits that we'll, we will have some product up there. We'll, we'll sell some kits that where we'll put some things together. If you want to purchase those, that would be your only cost. If you don't, then you can still come. It doesn't cost you anything. So, let me know what you think about it. Now, of course, if you want to stay overnight somewhere there, then, you know, that would be up to you. You could purchase your hotel room or whatever. The place that we're looking at is a hotel there that's, it's, it's a big hotel that has the conference rooms and everything in it. And then it has the rooms that, you know, where everybody could rent a room if they wanted to stay overnight. And if they didn't, that would be fine too. You could just, you know, turn around and go home. But... Let me know what you think. It's right beside a golf course, so if Hubby come with you and he plays golf, he could probably go play golf. And it has a lot of different eating places and different attractions and things around it. So, but just give me your ideas and let me know what you think. Uh, we're just in the discussion stage just right now. We haven't set anything down in stone. We haven't really checked prices for you know we would rent the room of course it wouldn't cost you anything um we haven't checked those prices and all so but 
but I'd like to know what you guys think just so that you know if, if all of you say no <laughs> forget it then <laughs> there's no use in me getting a room <laughs> but I know a lot of people had been saying I would love to have a little retreat or a little something you know where we could meet you and talk to you and all of that and I would love it too I used to have retreats all the time all over the place but I haven't really had any since Whit passed away and you know he was my big helper he always helped me carry everything in and do do things set things up and talk to the people and I mean he was he was just wonderful at all of that and the kids are usually gone so much that I you know I don't have a lot of help by them not because they don't want to it's just because they're gone all the time so I thought this might be a prime opportunity because they will actually be there to help and you could get to meet them too so let me know in the comments I'll probably put something else on there uh, but I'm gonna right now I'm gonna leave it okay that's the end of that one and then right here I was gonna cover this so yeah, we have we've been we kind of tossed that around this weekend, and um, we had talked about it quite a few times before, and never did really iron anything out. But I said, well, if we're gonna do it, we need to do it and iron it out and get it done and quit, you know, dragging our feet because a lot of people have requested it. A lot of people have asked about it, and if you want, we will have the space and have the tables and all of that. So if you want to do other crafting other than just the make and takes and the the kit that we bring to put together, if you want to do other things, then bring your bring your crafting. That'll be up to you. We'll have a place for you. Because we'll get the room for two full days, so we can stay in it as long as we want to. But I know a lot of people from, you know, Kentucky, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, all those places watch us and have asked about a retreat. And so this would be kind of centrally located. wouldn't be quite so far for everybody to drive. And I just think we could have some fun. So lots of fun. And I'm all for fun. I think I'm going to cover the back in that. You can still write on that if you want. Yeah, I almost did it, didn't I? Almost put it the wrong way up. And let me know truthfully if you're going to be interested because I need a kind of a... You don't have to commit right now. I know you can't commit right now, but I do need kind of a... I won't say a head count, but just a preliminary count of yeah or no because that will help determine whether I can rent the room or not <laughs> or whether I need to rent the room or not okay I think that goes that way but like I said that just coming will not cost you anything only if you purchase something or if you purchase the, we're going to pre-sale kits probably. So if you do the pre-sale, purchase one of the pre-sale kits. And it won't be a kit like the E-Kit or the AJ kit. It'll be completely different. We'll have a project that will already be made with it. And you can either sit down and make it there at the retreat or you can just take it home with you. And if you, for the people who can't come, we will also have kits for you to purchase too, whether you get to come or not. So, just looking for ways to have some fun and get together and meet people and, oh, I think I'll put that little birdie on there. We used to have them in October, and it was a really good time to have them because, you know, the kids have gone back to school, but a lot of people who watch us, or they're like me, they're old, and they don't have kids in school anymore. So it's a, it's a cooler time to travel, and usually the rates 
at the first of October, usually the rates everywhere haven't gone up too much. So you get on closer to Christmas and the rates go sky high for hotel rooms and things. Okay, I probably should have put some little something behind that, but I like that birdie there. So we're going to put him down there and I'll... I'll put something else with it later. Okay, I'm going to leave him out because he's a little bit wet with glue. And then I think I've got something I want to put in here and I'm not going to use that, that tag. I think I'm going to put one of these in here. Yeah, there we go. And then I will stuff goodies down in here for the person who purchased it. I do need to cover this, but I'll cover that off camera. You don't need to see me covering that. I'll put paper here and I'll put paper there. And then I'll probably put a couple of little magnets so they'll stay closed. I will also put some lace here just to reinforce that. Okay. Now we've got a little bitty pocket right here. Now, don't know if I've made anything small enough to go in there. Maybe that. Oh, yeah, that postcard goes in there perfect. I love having things made up. And then I think I'm going to leave that just for journaling. And just journal all over that. And then this, we need something to go in there. We could put this little piece in there, I think. Yeah, and we made that on one of the videos not too long ago, too. I'll leave the birds there. I love the birds. Okay, this is a pocket right here. So let me see. Okay, I'm going to have to make a big tag to go here because I don't think I've got one. Wait, maybe. This might be too wide. Yeah, that one's too big, but I do have a couple more here, so let's see if any of these will work. I've got this one. I just need to trim it. Okay, that one will work. Let's trim off this white. These are some I put together the other day just sitting here trying to figure out what I was needing, and I just grabbed up a few things and started putting backs on. There we go. You can journal on the back of that. And that's an old menu for some place, some eating place many years ago. All right. Got a little pocket here. No, nope, not that one. Put that little invoice in there. Um, I don't have the back of this one covered. Cause it was just some invoices and I just trimmed them out. But I think I'm going to put it in there anyway. If a person doesn't want to use it like that, they can always take it out. And then I'm going to put one of these little pockets in there. This is the ones that we made uh, Friday, I think. The no-fold little pockets. I mean, no-glue pockets. Not no-fold. No-glue pockets. So put that down on there. Okay, that's got something behind it. And then we've got a couple little places on the side that we can put uh, we can put a piece of something in there. A piece of something. see if that will stick in there. Okay, that will work right there. I did, yes, covered. And then we've got that. This I'm going to leave for journaling and folding out. This I've got a little white place right here. I'm just going to cover that with some ink. Okay, then we've got a side tuck pocket here. This is the center again, and I'll put some charms there. So, I'm going to put something in this little side tuck pocket. 
I think these are really pretty. Put those in there. Lots of roses. Lots of roses. And they're covered on the back. So, And right here, I would like to have a bird, I think, of some kind. Find one that's got some. Oh, let's do these two little birds right here. There we go. So that is the center. And then there, another writing space. Oh, um, we may put a pocket here. I feel like that needs a pocket. What about what's on the other side of that? No, I don't want to cover that up. What about if we put this to bring in lots of color? Because we've got kind of plain and plain. That could bring in some color, and it kind of sort of goes with that. Let's see. Do I have anything else? Okay, let's try this. That one or that one. Oh, I think this one wins. This is the little tuxedo pockets that we did the other day. See, it's just nice having ephemera already done. Already done. Already done. <laughs> oh, I think that's just the laziness. The southern laziness, maybe. And what about if we put this little tag in there? This is uh, just a piece of chipboard that I pull the top off of. And I think I want to cover the back, though. I don't think I want to leave it like that. See that measuring going on there? That's some high-tech measuring. You know, I guess I better check and see if that'll fit in there before I do a lot of work to it. Yeah, it does. So we can put this down. And I'm just going to tear off these corners. I'm not even going to punch them. I'm just going to tear them. There we go. That's my finger punch right there. I like that. Okay, that, that's journaling. We could put a little pocket of some kind right here. Now that one might look okay right there. It's not really a, made for a pocket, but I think we're going to use it for one. Another thing that I need to make quite a few of, it, and that is side tucks, because I don't have, I don't think I have but one or two little side tucks. Every time you make a pocket, you have to make something to go in it. There we go. That's going to go. And on this one, you can journal front and back since it's kind of a clear, clear. It's kind of white on the front. And I'll probably come back and put a little label or something up here. Or I may just include a bunch of labels for the person who gets it to finish it off. And then there, we need a little tag or something to go in there. I think that will go with her her little bit of purple. Put that in there. Got another one of those envelopes here. I don't have anything in there. That works right there. And then I could tuck something under there. I may come back for that too and not do it right this minute. I don't know, we'll just tuck a little postcard under there. I've already got the back covered, so there we go. That'll work. And then we've got another large pocket here that I will put something in. I'll just come back and put something else in there. Right now I'm going to have to find something that's a little bit stiffer. Okay, got that. That. I can journal on that. This just is some information about birdies. I think we'll put a little pocket right here and we're getting close to the end. I think I might just glue this here. This is just a little thing that pops
pocket thing that we made that opens up. Here we go. And you could stick a tag behind there if you want. I think I'll just include a tag, and if they want to put it back there, they can. And then this is just a little place that we could tuck some little, little pieces. We could tuck a couple of these little pieces in there. I like this one with the little, with the dog and the lady. There we go. And then we're at the end of this one, and this one has a pocket right here. I will include some things to go in that pocket. Uh, I'm not putting anything in the pocket to ship it, but I'll include some things if they want to put it in that pocket. Uh, I do want to put a, a pocket right here because I put a pocket on all of these. So let's see what we have that might work for a pocket. Okay, we can put this one. This is the envelope pockets, the pieces of envelopes that I had left that I made pockets out of. We use this one. I'm going to glue this back all the way down. So I don't want to use that for the pocket. The pocket is going to be the actual envelope. You can tuck. I'm not going to pull on it very much because it's not stuck completely, but we can tuck that in there. And that's definitely upside down, isn't it? Or is it right side up? No, it was right side up. Put that in there. So that is, this one is complete other than a few pieces of lace and then a couple of little spots that I need to go back and put something like right here, paper and that kind of thing. And then put my ties around it and it will be finished. But look at this. I love it. Love, love, love it. <laughs> All right, guys, that is my video for today. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you think about a little get-together, meet-and-greet, retreat, mini-retreat kind of thing. Let me know what you think about it. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.